Surat chapter 7. Do no evil, so no evil will overtake you. Depart from wrong, and it will turn away from you. My son, don't sow upon the furrows of unrighteousness, and you won't reap them sevenfold. Don't seek preeminence from the Lord, nor the seat of honor from the king. Don't justify yourself in the presence of the Lord, and don't display your wisdom before the king. Don't seek to be a judge, lest you not be able to take away iniquities, lest perhaps you fear the person of a mighty man, and lay a stumbling block in the way of your uprightness. Don't sin against the multitude of the city. Don't disgrace yourself in the crowd. Don't commit a sin twice, for even in one you will not be unpunished. Don't say, you will look upon the multitude of my gifts. When I make an offering to the Most High God, you will accept it. Don't be faint-hearted in your prayer. Don't neglect to give alms. Don't laugh a man to scorn when he is in the bitterness of his soul, for there is one who humbles and exalts. Don't devise a lie against your brother, or do the same to a friend. Refuse to utter a lie, for the habit results in no good. Don't babble in the assembly of elders. Don't repeat your words in your prayer. Don't hate hard labor or farm work, which the Most High has created. Don't number yourself among the multitude of sinners. Remember that wrath will not wait. Humble your soul greatly, for the punishment of the ungodly man is fire and the worm. Don't exchange a friend for something, neither a true brother for the gold of Ophir. Don't deprive yourself of a wise and good wife, for her grace is worth more than gold. Don't abuse a servant who works faithfully, or a hireling who gives you his life. Let your soul love a wise servant. Don't defraud him of liberty. Do you have cattle? Look after them. If they are profitable to you, let them stay by you. Do you have children? Correct them and make them obedient from their youth. Do you have daughters? Take care of their bodies and don't be overly indulgent toward them. Give your daughter in marriage, and you will have accomplished a great matter. Give her to a man of understanding. Do you have a wife who pleases you? Don't cast her out, and don't trust yourself to one who is hateful. Honor your father with your whole heart, and don't forget the birth pangs of your mother. Remember that you were born of them. What will you repay them for the things that they have done for you? Fear the Lord with all your soul, and revere his priests. With all your strength love him who made you. Don't forsake his ministers. Fear the Lord and honor the priest. Give him his portion, even as it is commanded you, the first fruits, the trespass offering, the gift of the shoulders, the sacrifice of sanctification, and the first fruits of holy things. Also stretch out your hand to the poor man, that your blessing may be complete. A gift has grace in the sight of every living man. Don't withhold grace for a dead man. Don't avoid those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Don't be slow to visit a sick man, for by such things you will gain love. In all your words, remember eternity, and you will never sin.